Hey folks, Michael McGee here. As you can see in today's video, we're gonna be doing some piggy meat. And what we're gonna do, as you can see right here, we got a fire built, we got water heating up. It's almost ready. We got our pig washed up. This is a mangalitsa. 153 to 154 pounds. That's what she weighs. She was a product of orneriness. She never would give my boy any, any rest down there. Anytime he wants to give something water, he wants to just run and knock it over. Don't even want the water. So I said, this is the pig we want to do a cookout with. So I've got my scrapers, my neighbors, Adam and Katie, ordered these for me and gave them to me. Boy, I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be their maiden voyage. We've got soap, we've got scrubbers, all going to be used after we scrape them and I've got my water heating up this is my temperature gauge as soon as this water heats up we're going to get this pig in there and we're going to start scraping let's get with it want you to have your water around 148 that's to me the perfect temperature as you can see it doesn't completely cover this side but that's okay we'll flip it we're just going to let her in here for about a minute minute and a half and then we'll check and see if the hair pulls out not pulling out not, not pulling out nope not at all let's check it out here oh look at that all right, we're going to roll her. Mm. All right. Aha, look at that. Beautiful. A few more minutes for the other side. We're going to pull that baby out and start scraping that hair off. And you will not believe how well that long, curly mangalitsa hair falls out. All right, Matt, crank up. All right, at this point, we're about like a bunch of buzzards. We're going to set in here. This is a scraper, and uh, look at this. We're not used to that. We're used to picking it out by hand like this, but our neighbor give us that, and boy, we're ready to roll now. Here in the flank, this is a hard part that don't want to turn loose so well every time. Look here, you take it and do your wrist like this. A lot of this hair stays on, we'll have to singe it off later. The quicker we get it off, the better because if it cools down too much, that hair can set back up and we'll have to re-dip it. One thing you're noticing, we're not just taking off hair. We're taking off the outer layer of skin, the epidermis, we're taking that off. And even after that, we're still going to soap it down with some good old Dawn dishwashing liquid. And this is how we lay her down. We're gonna lay her down and get her soaked up there. One reason we like to do this is because they're so fatty. But when you do it this way, you don't get that grease all over your hands. First one I ever did had fat that thick. For you kids that's watching at home, 
we did not put the toenail polish on it. That came natural. <laughs> cooking this hole I'm not gonna cut that pelvis I'm gonna leave that together I'm gonna gut it out without doing that if it, if we were gonna be cutting this pig in half doing halves totally different I'm gonna work my way up like this I'm, I'm just doing under the skin right now I'm not going all the way stop right there If you've done much of this, you know what's gonna happen. When I cut through, it's gonna start ballooning out. This is where excitement takes place, folks. Now you want your finger to be between the knife and the guts at all times. All right, we made it to the pelvis. That we did. Woo, look at this. Hundred and twenty four pounds. All right, we're gonna put it in this ice chest and take it over to our neighbors. They got a big walk in cooler, and then we'll see you in a couple days at the smoker. All right, it's early, early in the morning. Now, this old girl's a little bit heavy for me to just pick up out of this cooler. I'm gonna have to slide her out. <sighs> Yeah, she's a little bit heavy for one man. But I think I can manage to get her from here over to there. Let's go. of my people that's coming. I'm gonna take these feet off and the head. There's no need to gross people out. All right, look at that. That's what I call a perfect fit. In a video, some things I like to speed up for proper effect, some things I like to slow down. But smoke coming out of the cooker is perfect just the way it is. We want to eat some catfish, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some foil. I'm going to take one very large catfish fillet. This is from a flathead that was over 30 pounds. Our scales didn't go as high as it was. We don't know exactly. Very nice catfish it was indeed. I'm going to salt both sides. And this is a thick fillet, so I'm gonna salt it pretty heavy. I'm gonna do both sides with the Cajun Camp Dog. Now, we're just gonna use it like a rub. Now, at this point, I'm just gonna make a, basically a tray 
out of the foil. That'll keep the juice from drying out, but we want the smoke to get to it. So I'm just gonna do it like that right there and put it right in here. Slide Big Bertha right in by that pig. All right, I'm gonna shut that, let her rip, let her cook, hope it'll be done in an hour. <laughs> they crazy about the pig head crazy about the pig head man <laughs> Ooh, it's jalapeno popper time. Woo! We're gonna be warming up them taste buds tonight. Right. It has been a couple hours. Mm, the fish didn't get done in time for lunch, so guess what? It's gonna be part of the meal tonight. There's probably gonna be some people happy that it wasn't ready. At this point, we're gonna put on our heat gloves. I borrowed these from my neighbor and Thank you, Adam and Katie. You just saved my hands from getting burned. I gotta get myself some of these. I haven't had this cooker long enough to know what all I need. We're gonna pull this bad girl out, if possible. She still weighs over 100 pounds. Come to daddy, big girl. Stand it straight up on her back. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. That's beautiful. Now when we cut into it, we're gonna not do whole hog on the table for this main reason. This is a mangalitsa, completely layered up in all kinds of fat because, well, they're lard pigs. They have the most amazing meat. They have the most amazing fat but not everybody likes to eat copious amounts of fat. So we're gonna separate fat from meat and we're going to get it wrapped up and back in there to finish cooking. It's not finished yet, it's not done, but people are gonna be here in about three hours. We've got to roll. I think I wanna swing my um, this way. It's heavy, very heavy. got some pans set out to throw this meat in and fat. I'm going to be saving some of the fat for my own use later, thankfully. Roll this old girl straight up. Elvis ain't too excited about being cut. I got news for that pelvis. You just met Mr. Victoria Knox. The pelvis is cut. We're gonna come right up through here. Stern them. <clears throat> Look at that. Completely cut to the spine all the way through. Come through the copa muscle. Straight down the top. I'm gonna slide him over like this. That gives me a place right here. Now, that hard skin that's cooked on the outside will work as a, a pot holder to keep my table from getting too burnt. Now, at this time, we've got some good hot meat here. Next thing I wanna do is debone it, get the bone separated from the meat. This is what makes a mangalitsa a mangalitsa. So much fat. And I'm just gonna shave it off. We don't need that much fat on this cookout tonight. Ah, 
Time for that belly, otherwise known as bacon. Nothing. It's fattier than a mangalitsa bacon, I'm telling you. Mm. All right, now for the tenderloin gurus that have to have that high on the hog taste. Maybe they're, maybe they have a taste for high on the hog. That's where we're at right now. High on the hog. That, my friend, is a tenderloin. It's a sable. Now, the last thing on this side of the pig is the ham. Big old fat juicy ham. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful big old piece of ham. Ham ham. A manga ham is different than a lot of ham. Manga ham is still juicy. Time for the filet mignon. What a beauty it is indeed. It lays right here on the inside of the pig, right against the spine, right in front of the hind legs. And it is the most tender cut of an any animal. Unbelievably good. And lay that with the back strap. Now to make our next job easier, I'm gonna just break these ribs off. And just remove them. Just like that. There is plenty of meat left on those ribs, so I'll probably bake them. I have, I heard Miss Grace say a few days ago ribs were her favorite, so we can probably Make her a happy girl. I happen to know catfish is really her true love. So she's really gonna be in for a treat tonight. That she is. All right, I am going to finish cutting the meat off this half of the pig, just the way you saw me do that. And then we'll get to wrapping it and I'll show you how I'm gonna prepare for the final cook. At this time, we are going to wrap up Grace's ribs. She said ribs are her favorite part. Now, what we haven't done yet, and probably been driving y'all crazy, I haven't said anything about the seasoning yet, and that's because I haven't seasoned it at all, which is perfectly fine. It hadn't needed it until now. Now, we can use it. Camp dog seasoning and salt, as always. Camp dog and salt, that is the go-to around here, and the people that are coming have probably heard about it, and would kind of be upset if I didn't give them a little. So here we go. Ribs going in. I got to get this back out of the way. Come here just in case he's trying to slide off the table. Here. We're going to put the ribs right down here. I think at this time we'll do the back strap and the tenderloin. How's that look, boys? Looks good. That is beautiful. Salt and camp dog, as always. The ribs are the only ones that's gonna have the bone in. The rest of this is all gonna be boneless, and that is nice. Tenderloin and back straps going in. Can read this one? All right, this is shoulder. So that's how we did it. We just went ahead and threw it all together in the foil. That way it could cook boneless and seasoned and not get more smoke to over smoke it. 
and that's how it was. That's how we did it. Everybody is going to start showing up soon. Goodness gracious. At this point, we're going to take these babies. They are crispy enough. And we're going to throw these in. All right, got that one wrapped. While this is cooking, I'm gonna run this to the smoker and throw it in there. It is very popular right now to say, I hate aluminum foil, I'd rather not use it. I love aluminum foil and I want to use it. Hello, Mr. Caleb. People are gonna get here in about an hour and a half. It's time for me to go get a shower, change clothes, get out of these greasy, smoky clothes and get ready to host some guests. <laughs> all right. uh, I'm all showered and clean and everything. I'm gonna open it up and let it have some smoke. These are the fried crispy. I'm not sure if I need to have them opened up or not, but I don't want them to be soggy, so I think I will open them on up. Ah, boy, that's hot. You get smoke rolling on it. I'm gonna open this, open this. I'm gonna take a big piece. Big nice piece to put on there. And one more big piece. Red cedar put on there. Shut it. Shut her down. Everyone. And boys are getting this place ready. Speaking span. Really working hard. <laughs> Gonna be nice. Gonna be nice. Everybody can use their fingers. Okay. Here's what we've got. This is the fried pork belly. The rest of this is the regular smoked meat. This is a rib for Grace, because she said she liked ribs. And this is the catfish, which is a flathead catfish, 35 pound flathead catfish. The biggest catfish we ever caught on any of our escapades. And we've had some escapades in our time. That. That is a piece of fried pork belly that I fried. Let's do the taste test real quick, folks. Grace is going catfish first. That means we all have to. Come here, Caleb. Come. That means we all have to do catfish first. Here, young man. Try you a piece of that. Tell me what you think. Don't let it burn your chomper, but I don't think it's hot. Is it hot, Grace? Here, Caleb. Try that. All right. I'll take a test, too. But what I want us to know is what you guys think about it mm. i got a big thumbs up from lucas now this is the biggest flathead catfish we ever caught isn't that amazing caleb and i caught it on that video that you saw does anybody else have anything to say before we move on to the pork pretty he says it's thumbs up he says it's okay he says it's pretty what do you think it is Fishy. Fishy. Hey, she's a fish expert. She knows what that means. Okay. Do we want to try the belly next or the regular pork? Rib. 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 <laughs> this is all yours. 100%. Take the whole thing if you would like. All right. All right. Here you go. I'm sure. That's the regular pork right there. All right, Caleb, awesome, okay. Regular pork. Mmm. Mm. It's Oops. better than the, the whip is good, good, good. Like the Hunter says it's better than a catfish. Thumbs up. Lucas is a big thumbs up. What do you think, young lady I with your rib? My rib. Um, um. Little bony, you wanna try the regular? All right. This is the regular? Mm-hmm. Boy, that's hard to beat. Now that is hard to beat. Did you get any? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? It was good. It was that good. regular pork tastes a little better than the catfish. Woohoo! This is the regular pork. Yeah. 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 Y
This is coming from the catfish queen right here. That regular pork was better than the catfish. Wow. Well, in a way that's good because we have a whole lot of pork. And I mean a lot. So people are starting to arrive. We're expecting to have about 30 people here tonight from up and down our road. Everybody lives on our road or is going to live on our road soon has been invited and I think they're all going to come. But they don't all want to be on camera and we can't blame them for that. So we're going to get on out of here. We got a big thumbs up from the hunter. We got a big thumbs up from the Luke. We got a big thumbs up from Grace. Not yet, but I was hoping to get it. There we go. We got it. <laughs> so Caleb and these three friends of mine give us a big thumbs up. Let's hope everybody else likes it. But for now, we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>